Senator Lindsey Graham went on Newsmax TV and radio to talk to Steve Malzberg, who of course hosts the Steve Malzberg Show, and they brought up the topic of Comcast and Time Warner, the merger that, you know, is in the process of happening right now, and they also brought up MSNBC's ratings. Listen. Senator, let me ask you a question uh, on another subject as we finish up here. we got less than about a minute. Comcast, um, who, you know, you just heard we played that mm -hmm, soundbite from MSNBC uh, and how they treated your comments uh, to us at mm -hmm. Newsmax. Uh, they're looking to merge with Time Warner, with Netflix, yeah. and with others. And there's a lot of concern that... Um, that the, that the Comcast, uh, with its liberal bent, NBC, MSNBC, would control um, uh, much of the cable industry and conservative voices uh, might have trouble finding well, a, a place. I, I align myself with the congressman in this regard. There's no competition between Time Warner and Comcast in a cable market, so you're not creating a monopoly. Uh, there's competition with satellite, with phone companies, with all kinds of things. But here's my general takeaway about MSNBC. People, people are in this business to make money, right, mm -hmm. these cable companies. I don't think you could increase MSNBC's ratings if you had a gun to people's head. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right? <laughs> people wouldn't watch MSNBC with a gun to their head. That's a good one. Well, look, I'm no fan of MSNBC. I oftentimes go after them because I wish they were real progressives and not just cheerleaders for the Democrats. But recently, they've been beating CNN on a fairly regular basis. So it's not like they're on the decline right now. But it's also funny that Lindsey Graham wants to talk about ratings because a recent poll of voters in his state found that 37% approve of him and 48% disapprove of him. So you want to talk about ratings, big guy? How about yours? Yeah, people aren't... A, a very big fan of yours at this point in time. And by the way, it's not just in your state. It's also uh, in the United States of America. You know, this guy's one of the biggest war hawks around. And to that point, uh, here's another issue where he decided to ignore the ratings. When he was pushing for war with Syria harder than any other senator, and what percentage of the country was in favor of that? 24%. So he didn't care about numbers then, but now all of a sudden you care about numbers when you want to politically attack MSNBC. Um, and the final thing I'll say here about the idea of ratings. Dude, you're on Steve Malsberg's show on Newsmax TV. Now, I want to be clear about this. This isn't a joke. I want you to look at the screen grab of the views on YouTube of this interview 18 hours, 18 hours after the video was released. They had 16 views. Well, yeehaw! All right, boys, almost a view an hour. You're getting up there, man, let me tell you. So many people watching you. There's more people in Lindsey Graham's family than people that watched his interview on the Steve Malzberg show, and he's going to mock MSNBC's ratings. Please, man. These guys, they don't, they don't understand the idea of, you know, uh, self-perception or self-awareness. They don't get it. Like, they don't know how to apply the same standards to themselves that they apply to other people. So what do they do? Ah, oh, these liberals, they can't generate any views. Dude, you're fucking doing an interview that only 16 people watched 18 hours after it was released on YouTube. To put that in perspective, my channel's not even all that big... And when I release a video, 18 uh, hours later, it's got about a thousand views and counting rapidly. And you're a senator! <laughs> you're a fucking senator! Who am I? I'm a random douchebag who's flapping my gums. Although that kind of sounds awkwardly sexual. Come up with a new term next time. But please, man, don't be silly. You want to talk about ratings? Look at your approval rating and look at the shows you're on and fucking Newsmax TV. Grand total of like 3,000 people in the country even know who that, what that is. But all mocking aside, let's get to the meat of the issue here. The Comcast merger. Now, I love how Malsberg frames the question like, well, you know, if this Comcast deal goes through, then the liberals are going to have too much power in media. It's going to be crazy. That's why you're concerned about a Time Warner Comcast merger? I got news for you. The corporation has no political leaning in one direction or another. 
It's an amoral, apolitical machine that only cares about making money. In fact, there are reports about Phil Griffin. Cenk used to work for Phil Griffin, Cenk Uger, the Young Turks, and he's like, the guy doesn't give a fuck about politics. All he cares about is money. Which, by the way, is what you're supposed to do if you're the head of a corporation if, or if you're, you know, part of a subsidiary and that's your fucking job is to care about the money. The problem with the merger is that it is a monopoly. And also, did you notice that, uh, what was Lindsey Graham hinting? He's basically hinting, I'm actually going to vote for the merger. Now, why would he do that? Because he's bought off by those companies. They give him campaign contributions, just like they gave to all the Republicans. They gave even more to the progressives because they know they put up a bigger fight. So you give them more money to try to buy off their vote. And then they have the choice whether or not to approve the merger, and they probably will. And again, the problem is that it is a monopoly. The problem is that the market used to be, uh, there used to be laws about how the people who distribute the content, can't be the same people that own the content, can't be the same people. There's like all these different uh, ways of categorizing and all these different laws that said you could only do one thing, basically. And there was a reason for that, because they didn't want gatekeepers. You know, they didn't want uh, one person or one boardroom to be able to decide all the stuff that gets on TV or doesn't get on TV, right? Because then they could just censor the stuff that they disagree with, and that's not free, right? Well, now we're looking at a situation where if you merge these two together, what is it, over 50% of the market now is going to be one company for cable provider? So then they're the gatekeepers. You can't have a TV channel, you can't have a station, you can't have anything unless you get pre-approval from them. And what if they don't like you? Well, then you're fucked. Then you don't have a career in that, in that industry. That's the problem. The problem is that it violates all these different antitrust laws. The problem is that it is a monopoly. And the, also the problem is that those are the two lowest rated in terms of customer service. You know, all the other cable providers have better customer service. And if they merge these two together, it's only going to get worse because it's bigger and more bureaucratic and, and just terrible. But it's funny how Lindsey Graham is going to vote for it, even though Steve Marburg's concerned about uh, it's going to be so liberal. It's going to be terrible. I mean, Lindsey, aren't you against it? Well, no, because they pay me, sweet cheek, so I'm all for it. I don't care about how it ends up as long as I get mines.